Hey you guys, so here with another tutorial. I got some cheap old hot links. I um, try to stay away from pork because I have blood pressure issues and I, I have identified pork definitely um, triggers migraines and increased blood pressure. But this one, um, it said it's made with pork and chicken, but I'm only going to use a little bit in here. And so I know that um, actually pork is like the first ingredient would let me know that it's a lot. And then there's some sodium in here. So I'm a, I know what to do. I know how to I've been maintaining, so my blood pressure went down from uh, 200 over 100 and something to 178, I think 178 or 180 to 102, and then here lately after being on medication, matter of fact, I need to take my medication because I hadn't, I just ate and it's already like 6 o'clock, I think, yeah, 6.34 and I just ate all day, so I'm going to um, take my medicine really quick, but I want to show you guys what I do really quick. Whew. Making a seafood boil. So I'm gonna cut up, I'll probably do one sausage, maybe two, maybe one. Normally I'll fry these up first, but um, yeah, just did it like that. I have my pot right here. Move this to the side, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna bag it up once I'm done. But um, I'm gonna do that, excuse me y'all. I guess it's not gonna allow me to bag it up, I don't know. But I should have all this stuff ready. Um, I have an egg. If you've never tried an egg and a seafood boil, you're missing out. So I have my egg. Ooh, I know y'all heard that. And have a thing of corn. Just one corn. <clears throat> and then. One potato. Um, I'm going to scrub this, and then I'm gonna cut it up, and then I'm gonna put it in this pot, have it boiling while I make my um, seafood boil mix. This is a quick little seafood boil mix that I got from my daughter. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let me turn this water on. I have my water here. And I have oops. Dang it, my potato. I'm going to cut it up. So they're about like this. Um, so corn, sausage, uh, potato, and egg. So that's going to boil. And I have these. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now really quick, I am going to cut up onion and the garlic. I always buy like a bunch of cloves of garlic and I take them out and I freeze them. And so all I got to do is let it sit and bada bing, bada boom, and it's ready to go. So um, take care of these onions. Okay, so this onion is going to be for, um, I like a lot of onions, so I might do half of this. So I'm going to saute it with garlic in my pot. Put butter and the seasonings for my little quick and easy crab boil. This is something that my daughter did. And I'm kind of tweaking it a little bit because I don't have everything. At least I don't think I do. But anyways, here's the onions. My pot of boiling sausage, corn, and stuff like that is over there. And it said that, she said um, unsalted butter. But I don't have unsalted. I have salted. I only have one stick of unsalted. So... Anyways, most of my products over here that I'll be using, um, it doesn't have a lot of salt. So, um, two set four. I'm not going to use that much. I'm going to just do up maybe one stick. Because I like, I like the juice. I like the, the butter, but I don't want the butter. Let me, sorry. This little counter is, is a little bit of space right here. So I'm cutting up my butter so that it melts faster in this little pan that I have. And I have to watch it because you don't want your butter to burn. Okay, so, putting this back up. Okay, so... Oh, watching that, got my stuff already boiling. Here's my um, garlic I'm going to add to it. Um, some of it has the, what you call it on here, but when it's frozen, it's so much easier to take it off, like, real easy. And um, what I do is, like you just saw there, take it off, and then it kind of thaws out a little bit, and it's so easy to cut. Like, literally so easy to cut, and this is so much, like, 
it saves so much time. I should do my onions like this because I buy a bag of onions and by the time I use up all the onions, sometimes the onions go bad. And so I don't have my kids here at the house to where I have to cook a lot. So I need to start doing that to my onions. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the butter is starting to melt. And I'm going to add the onions to it and the garlic and I'm gonna cook that a little bit. And you have so many people that have their own little seafood boil type situation on the computer. Follow whoever you like, you know? So I'm gonna switch this over here. Excuse, excuse me all. So here's my um, onion and garlic. I'm adding that here. I'm gonna cook that down a little bit. I'm thinking maybe I should add just a little bit of, uh, um, a little bit of, a little bit of ginger, because I did get some ginger. So I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of ginger while this is cooking. So this is how the ginger is. So I might take this little, probably this little knuckle right here and just cut it. I'm not gonna use that much, but just a little bit for flavor. And I'm trying to watch my little stuff right here. So let me move this out the way. I have so much stuff. The little counter space right here is just horrible. So I just did this little knuckle. They call me little knuckle. Little knuckle here. I absolutely love me some seafood. So this is what I'm gonna do. The little butter right here is, is cooking, sauteing the um, onions. And I'm gonna add, gotta really watch it and be careful so you don't burn. Mm, it smells so amazing. Okay. I'm just cutting up my ginger. Whew, almost lost it. Okay, so I'm adding the ginger, letting that cook. Ooh, it smells. It smells so amazing. Okay, so let me get this out the way. After a while, I'm going to add my I'm gonna add my crab over there. So I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit. I'm probably running out of battery. I am, I am. So I'm gonna let that cook a little bit and the recipe says about a teaspoon, the spoon size of the seasoning that I have. So I'm gonna just kinda eyeball it. Um, this, um, these lids on these seasons, boy, they be making the system work. So that's black pepper. Smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika, so I'm gonna add. And you basically add how your taste buds are, like for real, for real. Here's, um, let me do this one. Here's garlic powder. I mean, lemon pepper. I don't really do too much lemon, but my girls love this. So it's basically to your liking. Okay, so here's garlic pepper, garlic and pepper. And that's mainly a garlic powder. And then here's parsley, flakes. Oops, I put too much because I'm looking at the camera. And then here's garlic, I don't need this. Now I have two obeys. I have this one, this one is the, the hot, and then here's the obey, which is the regular. So I'm gonna use the hot and spicy obey. I love me some obey, so I put just a little extra snidget in there. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this shrimp bouillon base, just a little bit, just for flavor. That's something my daughter don't do. And um, she adds this right here. Hopefully, this is the um, crab boil liquid. She said a top, top full, but I'm gonna do a little extra. And then this is cayenne. I'm still recording. I'm trying to hurry up before it goes off. So this is cayenne. Just a little bit, that's gonna make it come up a little bit extra. And then, it was already smelling good. And then this is chili powder. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of chili powder. And I'm gonna stir it. Oh, it smells amazing. I might put just a little bit of water in here, but I'm gonna let this cook just like this. Let me taste a little bit. Bomb, bomb. All right, y'all, I'll catch you back. Okay, you guys, so I am back and my um, pot here is boiling like heavily. And I'm going to add my, um, mm, this seafood boil is amazing. It smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good. So I'm going to add my shrimp there. And <clears throat> <woo. clears throat> this is my shrimp right here, just like this. I'm going to add it whole, just like this. Rinse it off. I'm going to add it to my pot. I just take them off this bag and I rinse my seafood. Add it to there. And then here is my crab legs. I rarely get king crab, especially when the girls are home because it's so expensive. And just for one leg, I mean, look, all I'm saying is, yeah, look, just this one leg might do me good and I might say the other leg for later. 
So I put that in there like this. Just like that. And I think I am gonna say this like this like a leg and that little, that's how much I got left. So I might say that for later. I think I am. So I'm gonna let that cook and then I'm gonna let that boil rather, and then I'm going to come back and show you the final product. Okay? Okay, so I am taking out my stuff. Ooh. Okay, first here's the egg. Yes, this stuff was still boiling. I'm gonna take out the potato, potatoes and sausage. The shrimp jumped out on it. This is gonna be so amazing. I think what I should have did was probably did up another, you know, no, I think I did all right. Let my, I'm gonna let my crab and my shrimp cook a little bit longer, but I'm gonna take out my egg and I'm gonna shell it. Some shrimp here. Okay, so I am going to put some of this right here on here. This a lot. Ooh, a lot of mercy. Yes, sir. Let's eat. So those of you that know my situation, mind your business. I feel like Martin, um, when him and Gina wasn't eating or something like that and she brought out all, her, all that good food. And he was like this. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for this food about to tear up. Ask that you make it nourishing for my body and take out all the impurities in the name of Jesus and bless me as the cook that prepared it. All right, like I said, for those of y'all that know my situation, mind your business. Let me taste this. Look at that. Look at that. Look, ah. Mmm. Y'all saw that juice? I don't know about that. Um, look at this air. Mmm. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know about the ginger. I probably should have left well enough alone. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Mind your business. Mmm. Mind your business. Oh my God, this egg. Mmm. I want y'all to take note of the, the pinky mm. the whole time. 
Anybody can relate to the pinky? Thumbs up. Share. Carry on. All I all I know is I put my pinky toe. I put my pinky toe. Mmm. Mmm. Mm mm mm. -mm. Light Lemonade, Arizona. Y'all remember back in the day, Arbor Mist? I don't know why I'm looking right here in the camera right there. Oh, I know y'all waiting for me to grab that crab leg, but I'm in an awkward position. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, mm-mm. You know what? That ginger wasn't bad. Maybe a little bit. I'm like, man, let me taste a potato. I don't know what the heck wrong with y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. I ain't no more. Yeah, that ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, check this out. I got a little bit of juice right there. I might have to stand up for this. Look, mind your business. Mind your business. Huh. Mm. Oh my God. I didn't take a picture. This really ain't no more. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to bring that pot over here. Uh, look, y'all, y'all finna make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here. For real. Hey man, did the corn juice fly up that high? What the? <laughs> It's my mine anyway. Look at that. Ooh. Lord. Mm. Let this corona pass. Pass so I can cook my kids some of this goodness. 
Look, I can't even. Ah, woo. I can't even sit down no more. Y'all done got me standing up. Let me get this egg <clears throat> right here. Um, put in this pot. It's only a little bit left anyway. Mind your business. It's my stuff anyway. Single serving. Mmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. Ah. Okay, see y'all later. Bye. I'm done. Please rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, share. Thank you for watching.